Alright, so today we are going to be working on this John Deere 826 snowblower. The, uh, the engine runs great. The previous owner took really good care of it, but he started having transmission issues with it. Um, it just wouldn't move like it used to, so let's dig into this and find out what's going on. So we're looking at the uh, underside of this uh, John Deere 826 snow thrower, and um, the previous owner said that uh, there was something wrong with the <laughs> transmission because it wasn't moving the way it should. The engine runs great. The guy took care of it. It's clean. He actually even used to work for John Deere, so he knew his, his stuff. But uh, these parts are no longer available. And uh, if you'll notice, there's, I mean, it's just, it's loose. Or shouldn't it be loose. There's grease squeezing out over here. So we're going to take this apart and, uh, and find out if we can't find out what's going on. And uh, all that's working inside there. Now this is another unit, uh, another John Deere 826. And this one, the engine does not run. And I've decided this is going to be my parts model. But you'll notice with this one, um, as crusty as it is, and we can clean this up, um, there's some rust involved. Hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. But there's no grease coming out of here. and. Everything is good and tight, so if we have to use parts off of this one to fix the other one, um, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so the first thing I want to do here is to uh, <clears throat> remove this. This is a a credit to the previous owner that this is not all rusted up. He must have kept this thing pretty clean. That was kind of nice. Yeah, take that off. And we'll slide that off. There's actually a large washer there. Keep that together. And then this whole thing slides right out. Okay, so now on the other wheel, um, inside, down in here, there's actually a, a roll pin that's sticking out. And we're going to have to knock that out so that we could slide this mechanism out. Which is also, on this side, is the chain, so I have to get the chain off of there. A little bit more. There it is. Move that washer out of the way. There is a bolt right there. I'll degrease that thing so we can get a better shot at it. Alright, looks like just a flathead screwdriver and a small uh, 
nylock nut on this side. that do it? A little bit more. Almost there. Come on now. that right off in there. And there's that whole axle shaft. 